It's an unusual sight in Singapore, a food truck. While food trucks have taken over the streets in many major cities, Curbside Gourmet is one of just two trucks on the island. This is a dish uh, called cold mantaiko pasta. Uh, we've got lightly toasted sesame seeds, black sesame seeds on it. Uh, we toss it with mantaiko, which is a spicy cod roll. Uh, top it with tobiko, another kind of uh, cod roll. Uh, and then top it uh, at the end with uh, crab meat. Fantastic. Really? It's not a food truck revolution just yet. They're actually a pretty new concept, but it's gaining a lot of popularity. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of people interested here at the event at ArcaFest. Everyone does gather around it and the whole city comes alive. So we really wanted this to show people that small interventions can really change the city. They should have this everywhere. I mean, I can think of three or four places or places where you can't find food. It's mobile, so it's good food. I mean, what, what a combination, right? Also on the menu tonight, sous vide eggs, tofu tacos, Cajun fries, and Spanish meatballs. The dishes aren't the only things generating buzz. The truck is actually a social enterprise created by Luan E earlier this year. For every meal Kirby sells, one goes to the needy. Ms. E works with social service groups to distribute the food to low-income families. I keep asking, you know, why why am I in a food truck? Like, <laughs> why am I not, you know, sitting pretty in an office, comfortable? You know, instead I'm in greasy garb every day. Why, you know? So there's got to be something like a higher purpose. Good food for a good cause. A philosophy that convinced local authorities and sponsors to support her idea, which led to seed money and resources. Not an easy feat in Singapore, where the government moved street food vendors indoors to regulate them. We've come full circle to allow hawkers like me uh, out in the streets again. We're going to liven up the streets in Singapore, offer a new you know, lifestyle choice, appeal to the more discerning palates on you know, what is possible out there. You know, uh, fine dining by the curbside. But Kirby isn't allowed to show up anywhere it wants. For now, Ms. E is focusing on festivals and public events. You can track the truck's whereabouts on social media a concept that will take some getting used to. Singaporeans are so used to their hawker centers, to their food courts, that uh, they may not have been too exposed to this kind of dining. We've had people turn up and say, you know, I thought you said you were going to be here. I'm like, did you check Facebook? And like, why would I check Facebook before I leave my house? You know? <laughs> it's a new habit, it's a new trend. We need to slowly get people into it. It's off to a good start with nearly 2,000 likes and counting. As for the future of food trucks in Singapore, we'll have to see how Kirby does in paving the way. For The Wall Street Journal, Annalisa Burgos in Singapore.